Bay 25990023 is a uh, AAV um, mediated liver directed gene therapy for patients with hemophilia A or factor uh, 8 deficiency. Um, what we're presenting at this meeting is the preliminary results. Of, uh, this is a first in human gene therapy study of a, a unique um, AAV vector. This is AAV HU37. Uh, this is the first time this has been used uh, uh, for uh, gene therapy in hemophilia. Um, this uh, uh, AAV vector contains a uh, uh, modified uh, factor 8 transgene. It's uh, what we call B-domain deleted, which um, uh, truncates the, the factor 8, um, maintains all of its uh, functional capacity, but uh, makes it small enough to package into the AV viral vector. This particular vector was chosen because of its efficient liver-specific factor 8 gene transduction, and uh, also uh, with the idea of uh, being able to deliver uh, what we hope will be durable factor eight expression. Um, in addition, uh, this particular capsid uh, appears to have a lower rate of pre-existing humoral immunity uh, against this particular uh, capsid. And so this would uh, increase the potential eligibility of patients who could get access to this treatment. Um, so the object of the poster at this meeting is to report on the long-term safety and factor eight activity data uh, from the first six subjects who participated in the trial. Um, this is still a phase one, two, so it's a, a dose uh, finding study. Uh, we're starting at a dose of 0 0.5 times 10 to the 13 uh, vector genomes per kilogram. Uh, the uh, next two dose cohorts were 1 times 10 to the 13th and 2 times 10 to the 13th. So we've dosed two subjects uh, at each of these uh, doses and we have uh, follow-up as long as uh, 18 months um, and uh, what we've been able to show is that um, uh, there's favorable uh, safety profile, no treatment emergent uh, serious adverse events uh, over up to 18 months of follow-up. There were no um, study drug-related adverse events or serious adverse events. Uh, we did see mild to moderate elevations in the ALT um, in the two highest dose cohorts, um, and uh, those patients were managed with a uh, immunosuppressive protocol uh, with corticosteroids steroids because this, this uh, transaminitis uh, liver toxicity uh, is believed to be related to an immune response to the capsid. And the reason for needing to intervene is um, to ensure that there isn't a um, uh, persistent uh, cytotoxicity against those liver cells uh, that would eliminate the transgene expression. Um, so uh, the uh, expression results uh, seem very encouraging. We do see a dose effect. Um, and uh, we see sustained factor levels that are uh, uh, maintained uh, over time in the follow-up period, which I said was up to 18 months, uh, no evidence of loss of expression over time. And uh, for patients who were able to achieve a factor eight level of at least 15 uh, IUs per deciliter, um, uh, these patients are showing no spontaneous bleeding um, and they uh, don't need uh, regular factor eight replacement. Uh, so uh, this uh, study will, will continue, uh, and then hopefully we'll be able to identify an optimal dose that uh, we expect will be carried forward into a phase three study.